For those who don't know, customers of Yada Bank can't access their money in accounts due to a dispute between its banking partners. People are mad and frustrated not only at Yada and its banking partners, but also at the people who promoted them as well. Most notably, a financial YouTuber named Graham Stephan. He's getting a lot of dislikes, hate comments, people have stopped watching him and this may affect his revenue and overall future sponsorships. So how does this relate to home care referrals? Simple. If a referral source, which is Graham in this case, refers somebody to a home care agency, which is Yada, and they do a bad job, guess what? They both get blamed and they both get the hate. Meaning that the referral source has to be more careful because they can lose revenue and money because of it. So that's why it's important that you establish value up front so that way they can see the dedication of your work before they feel comfortable and confident referring a client to you. All right, what's up, y'all? I just want to remind you, okay, that it's been months. It's been months since the Yada Bank, bank fiasco went down where people are no longer able to withdraw their hard-earned money that they have stored within Yada Savings, which is a bank that Graham Stephan, Graham Stephan said that he bought, he said he bought a bank, made an entire video on it, and now that Yada Bank has gone under and people can't get their money, Graham has fallen completely silent on Yada Savings. Not one video that he has released, not one video that he has put out has discussed what has happened with Yada Bank. And it's actually crazy to me because he was the ambassador for Yada Bank, the ambassador for their brand. He was the guy that was looked at to bring in all these new clients. And I'm sure he did because I was one of them. I'm sure he did. I'm sure Graham brought in tons of clients. I'm sure Graham bought in tons of money for Yada Bank. And now for him to be silent on it is absolutely disgusting to me. It's disgusting to me. And he hasn't said a word still. He's still putting out cringe for worthy videos talking about the same shit he was talking about yesterday and last week and last month. Still talking about the fucking feds and the housing market crisis or cars or, or taxes. Still. Now, he's decreased the output of his videos, but you would think that a guy who was chosen to be the ambassador for a company to promote on his channel, on his YouTube channel, where he hosts millions of followers every single week, you would think that he would at least put together some type of statement to come out and say, listen, let me start off by apologizing to you all for getting you all involved with Yada Bank. I could not, I did not know what I was doing. I did not foresee this happening. I'm super sorry that it happened to you. And I am at fault and I am, to, I am at blame for you joining God of Savings. And if you join God of Savings, please, please forgive me. You would think that he would have the decency to at least beg forgiveness from his audience. But Graham doesn't give a shit. Graham doesn't care. It's been, it's, been, it's been weeks, it's been months now. I think we all know that Graham don't care. You've had time to parlay with your, with your advisors. You've had time to talk to people that's on your team to give you your PR or whatever you got to, so, so that you could come out and say something to the people. And you've said nothing. Graham has been silent. Completely silent. And to just show you how... Just show you how the community is taking this. I want to head over to Reddit. I want to show you what the people at Reddit are, uh, of Reddit are saying. So that you don't think I'm crazy. This says, get Graham Stephan to talk. Scammer Stephan. This was two months ago. He said, we need to get his attention. Sure, yeah, he doesn't run the bank, but he brought many of his fans to it. Now those fans can't get their money. And if you drop down into the comments, it just goes on and on and on. This guy says, absolutely. He also invested, I believe, $250,000 into Yada. Let me, uptick, let me upload that. Let me upload this one too. 
This one says, I hope he is not such a trash of a human to use that as an excuse in trying to gain pity. For him, it was speculation investment, play money. For folks here, it's impacting their daily lives. And that's the thing. That's what happens. That's the biggest lesson that I took away from that. That's the biggest lesson that I took away from Yada Bank. Is that these guys, these millionaires, these multimillionaires that play around on YouTube, that are able to play around with speculative money and able to dibble and dabble in this scheme and that scam, they can do this type of shit all year long. Why? Because they're getting tons of money from ad revenue. They're getting tons of money from courses or whatever the hell it is that they're selling you. This is why people like, uh, pe people like Earn Your Leisure and Ian Dunlap. And this is why people like fucking uh, Wall Street Chapper can come out here and tell you, oh, it's cool. Just follow my plays. I got a play for you. Just dibble and dabble in, 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 in selling options and options trading. You'll just follow me and you'll be successful. Take my course, bro. You'll be successful. This is why they can do that. This is why they can afford to play around with options and you can't. They can afford to lose a couple, a stack. They can afford to lose 10,000, to, to, to lose 20 grand. You can't. You can't afford that. And they fooled you all into thinking that you can take the same type of losses that they can. A $250,000 investment for Graham Stephan was nothing. That's nothing. For a guy that makes millions every single year off YouTube. It's absolutely nothing. It's play money. This person is right. It's, act, it's absolutely play money. 250, what is 250 to a mil, multi-millionaire who makes millions every single year? Absolutely nothing. This person says absolutely. Hearing the horror stories of how much people got stuck is baffling. I also feel, feel extremely guilty because I introduced it to a friend. I did the same thing. I did the same thing. I made a video on this already, but I did the same thing. And I felt guilty about it. Now, they didn't join, but it's still, I brought it to their doorstep. It says, because he found the, he found the, con he found the, I believe that he's, supposed, he's trying to say, he found the concept interesting, as well as we loved Yada for a while. It fell off a couple months back, and we both should have gotten our money out. Now, he's, now his, mo his money is stuck in there because I told him how great of a bank that this was. And it's the same story across. Listen, I brought this to my friends because I'm like, hey, I see this is a great investing opportunity, a great place for you to park your money and earn money on it. Because at first, that's what it was, right? It did start off being a great investment opportunity and a place for your money to be kept and held. It started off that way. But now that shit has gone completely under, I would expect that the brand ambassador, the person that brought so many people into the platform, would have something to say. Yet he is distant and largely ghost. You think I'm playing? Let's look it up. What's up, you guys? It's Graham here. So Shut I just the hell up. Here it is. Graham Stephan. Look at his videos. It's all the same shit over and over again. It started. Japan just broke the U.S. stock market. Breaking Federal Reserve. How to get the perfect credit score. Housing expert. Why home prices will crash in 2026. Urgent. Federal Reserve stops rate hikes. Renting versus buying a home. How to invest in 2024. Why you shouldn't buy a home in 2024. It's all the same garbage over and over. How does anybody follow this guy? How is anybody still following Graham Stephan producing the same fucking videos every single week, but never addressing the real shit and the real concerns and the real problems, never addressing the fact that he brought on probably thousands to millions of supporters to Yada Savings for them to throw their money inside of this bank and now they can't get it out and he is largely ghost. Last video was seven days ago. The one before that, 12 days ago. He had, it's clear that he has no intention of talking about Yada Bank at all. And when he does finally make a video, if he does finally make a video on it, it's going to be way too late. Nobody's going to care and they're going to say, where were you two months, three months ago when all this shit broke loose?
This just goes, this just further goes to show you, man. Listen. <sighs> y'all think I, that I'd be hating. A lot of y'all think that I hate on these guys. That I hate their child. That I hate them as people. No. I hate their practices. I hate what they stand for, which is not shit. They all here for money. They're here to take yours. Stop following these losers. Get off of the YouTube crack pipe. I said it in the last video. We have a problem in the YouTube community. And most of you all are crackheads. You got to get off that pipe. You got to. The YouTube crack epidemic here in the finance community must die. He also promoted FTX. His track record ain't looking too good. Yeah, I didn't even talk about that. But, I mean, I've made videos on it before on how he promoted FCX. That was another one of his fucking scams. That, listen, I, like I said before, I don't know. I don't know why anyone is still following Graham Stephan or how. He, makes the, he literally makes the same videos over and over again from week to week to week. He has nothing new to talk about. He doesn't know how to pivot. He has nothing else in, 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 his form, in his formula. He has nothing else in his repertoire. He can't go and cover something else because all of his videos are heavily scripted and he has no choice but to go on the script that's in front of him and read off the prompt. He can't do impromptu. Graham doesn't have that ability. And because he doesn't have that ability, you're going to continue to get the same video week after week after week after month after year. It's the same shit. He's been doing the same video for the last four to five years with no switch ups and still has millions of followers and people hanging on to his nutsack. I don't understand it. But if you got something in between these two ears that's worth anything, please use it to stay far away from Graham Stephan. I'll see you on the next one.